Hello and welcome to this video on biomedical and public health government databases and data resources. Today we're going to provide a quick overview of the following five government websites. The Center for Disease Control's National Center for Health Statistics, the Healthy People 2020 website, the Healthy Kentuckians 2010 and 2020 reports, the U.S. Census Bureau's data resources website, and the CDC Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. In this video, I will provide a brief explanation and description of each site, and then describe how to navigate to the specific resources you will need to access for your course. Links to all resources are embedded in the YouTube description section of this video. CDC's National Center for Health Statistics, or NCHS, is the United States' principal health statistics agency. The NCHS compiles statistical data to guide public health and policy decisions and provide a broad perspective on the population's health, influences on health, and health outcomes. The health statistics collected by the NCHS allow the CDC to document the health status of the U.S. population in selected subgroups, track the impact of major policy initiatives, document access to and the use of the health care system, identify disparities in health status in the use of health care by race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, and geographic region, monitor trends in health indicators, and support biomedical and health services research. To access NCHS data, go to cdc.gov nchs. The primary way to access NCHS datasets and tools is to use this top blue navigation bar. Under Data Collection Systems, you can view information about various surveys conducted by the NCHS, including historical surveys that are now complete. Not all data in this area is freely available. To access the National Death Index, for example, you need to submit an application and pay a fee before access will be granted. Under Topics, you will find FAST stats, which provides users quick and immediate access to statistics concerning major topics of interest in public health. Click on FAST stats to find a list of all topics covered. When you click on a topic, you will see a brief statistical analysis of the topic. The data set for each topic is listed below. Click on the links and you'll be able to view the full data set and statistical analysis for that topic. Under Data and Tools, you will find a list of various guides to data access, data analysis, and data visualization toolkits and aids, and access to CDC Wonder. CDC Wonder is a research and discovery tool that allows users to view statistics and data sets for all topics researched and covered by the CDC. Click on the A to Z index to browse all available topics. Click on a topic and be taken to a landing page for all data sets related to your chosen topic. Finally, under Publications, you can access reports and data briefs that have been compiled from NCHS surveys. The next database we're going to discuss is Healthy People 2020 which is managed by the U.S. Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion. Every decade, measurable objectives and goals relating to the health care needs of the U.S. population are set and tracked by the ODPHP for the following 10 years. The most current iteration is Healthy People 2020, which was started in 2010. Healthy People 2030 is already in development and will be launched in 2020. The goals of Healthy People 2020 are to identify health improvement priorities, increase public awareness of health issues, provide measurable objectives to be achieved at the local, state, and national level, and to encourage action towards improving the health status of all Americans. To access Healthy People 2020, visit www.healthypeople.gov. 
there are a couple of ways to access the data on this site. First, select Topics and Objectives in the top navigation bar to browse all subjects being tracked or addressed by Healthy People 2020. Additionally, you can select a data search in the same navigation bar to search by topic area or by a specific data source. A slightly different but similar search option is also available under Tools and Resources. Select the link for Search Our Evidence-Based Resources Database to search for interventions and resources. Healthy Kentuckians 2010 and 2020 are related to Healthy People 2020. They are the local equivalent of the national program we just discussed and are guided by the Healthy People goals and objectives. Both the 2010 and 2020 reports were generated by the Kentucky Department for Public Health's Cabinet for Health and Family Services. The links to both reports are shown here, but to access them, it is easiest to use the links provided in the description section of this YouTube page or to simply Google Healthy Kentuckians 2010 and Healthy Kentuckians 2020. Once you access the reports, you will find that both Healthy Kentuckians 2010 and Healthy Kentuckians 2020 are very simple to navigate. They are simply collections of links, broken down by chapter, to cover each topic that is covered under their initiative. Next, we will discuss how to access data from the U.S. Census Bureau. The U.S. Census website contains multiple databases and tools comprised of data collected from previous censuses and other major U.S. population surveys that are managed by the Bureau. The last census was in 2010, but other major surveys, like the American Community Survey, collect and post new data each year. The two resources we will explore are the American Fact Finder database and Quick Facts. Both tools are available on the United States Census Bureau website, www.census.gov. The easiest way to access both American Fact Finder and Quick Facts is to go to the top navigation bar and select Data. Under Data Main, you will find links to American Fact Finder and Quick Facts. In American Fact Finder, you are able to search by state, county, city, town, or zip code, or follow a guided search or advanced search to find other data sets that are not limited by locality. In Quick Facts, you will find lists of general population statistics that have been taken from the census and other surveys. Finally, we will discuss the Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report prepared by the CDC. The MMWR is the agency's primary vehicle for reporting public health information and recommendations. The report is based on data reported regularly from state agencies to the CDC. All current and past issues of the MMWR are available at www.cdc.gov slash mmwr slash index dot html. To access the full reports, select Publications. For the weekly publication, select Weekly Report. From here, you can access the most recent issue and all past issues from 1982 until now. The Recommendations and Reports section contains policy statements and practice recommendations for the prevention and treatment on all areas in the CDC's scope of responsibility. 
If you have any questions about anything discussed during this video or any other library resource or service, please feel free to contact me anytime.